Buenos dias a todos. Good day. I am Ferdinand Andrade, the director of the College Data Center of Sambuanga City State Polytechnic College. In partnership with the Special Project and Development Office of Dr. Nora M. Ponce, we are going to provide an orientation or guide on how to use the GCSPC My e class for students. It was agreed by the deans and directors and approved by our college president, no other than Dr. Nelson P. Cabral and the vice president for academic affairs, Dr. Carlos C. Lolo, that our college will only be using single platform for us to be able to easily monitor the students and faculty in conducting online class. Using this platform, as a student, you will be able to enroll your course or subjects, read all the lessons content based from the module, take an assessment or quiz or exams, and view your grade. This platform also works similarly to a Google Classroom or Edmodo. As a student, you may use smartphones, laptop, or desktop to access the ZCSPC My eClass. For smartphone users, you may download Moodle application available in Google Play Store for free. For information of everybody, Moodle is the platform or the software for learning management system that I use when I develop the ZCSPC My eClass. For those who are using desktop or laptop, you just open any internet browser like Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, or Firefox Mozilla to access the GCSPC My eClass. To start using the GCSPC My eClass in the address bar located on top of your browser, just simply type the official website address which is www.zcspc.edu.ph slash my eclass and press enter. So after which, in the main page, look for the sign up button to register. Okay. To register, Simply input the important details or the basic information needed by this platform. First, you have to input your username, example, Jefferson. And the password that will require you to use later when you will be when you log in in this portal there is an instruction on how to create a password the password must have at least eight characters at least one digit at least one lowercase letter at least one uppercase letter at least one non-alphanumeric character such as asterisk, minus or dash sign, or the sharp or number symbol. Now, for you to easily to remember your password, just the first letter should be capital or uppercase in or in uppercase, like Jeff, and the special character at sign. And number 2020. Okay. Now the email address you can use Gmail or the institutional email, which is the edu that azspc that edu that ph. Okay, and then you just have to copy it and paste, and then write the your complete name 
first name, of course, and the city and town. So city or town and the country is not a required field. Okay, so ang ibig sabihin yan, uh, it, the, the red tags here, uh, all the fields available should be All the fields here must have information or data. Yung mga may red tag. Okay? And itong field name, your city or the town, is not a required field. Ibig sabihin, pwede nang walang content. Leave it lang. Security questions. Okay. Uh, I included the CAPTCHA, which is connected in the Google for my for our page security. No? So, all you have to do is to click the box, I'm not a robot. Okay? And click create my new account. Now, you will be, you will see that there is a red notification here. Ang sinasabi niya dito, only lowercase letters allowed. Okay, so ito yung common mistake kaya ay sinadya ko na ipakita sa inyo. No? So it should be small letter lang. Ang mga username should be small letter. Okay? And the password, sabi ko, you need to include at least one capital letter or uppercase. At least one. No? So para mas madali siyang maalala, it should be in the first letter of your name. Okay. Now, kung okay na lahat, i-click natin ulit I'm not a robot and then click create my new account. Now, you will see here your account has been registered and is pending confirmation by the administrator. Okay? Ibig sabihin nito, although you are already officially registered, but you cannot still use the E-class or this SPC my E-class because your account or your email must be confirmed by the admin, which is the College Data Center. So you just give us at least a day for us to be able to confirm your account so that as a student, you will be able to use this platform. Makakalag in ka na pag nakakonfirm na po yung account ninyo. Okay, now let's click continue. Okay? So, if you see, pag nag na ako, I'll be using the username Jefferson now that I use for the registration. If I'm going to click login. Okay, so there is a notification. You need to confirm your account. No? So, hindi muna kailangan i-click yung recent confirm email because uh, uh, lumalabas kasi ito, it's because the administrator hindi niya pa na-confirm yung account mo. So, nakikita namin yan sa admin. Automatically, kami po yung mag-confirm. There's no need for you to click the recent confirmation email. Okay, you just have to wait. Now, pag okay na lahat, pag na-confirm na yung account mo, you can go back again here. No? You go to the main page, which is using this address. This is pc.edu.ph slash my e-class and then you press enter at pwede ka na rin mag-login. Okay? So, that's all. No? Thank you for listening.